Kelly Shaw, Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I'm on the North Fork Shoshone River that runs into Bridger Reservoir. I'm in between Cody and Yellowstone, Wyoming. And this Bigfoot sighting happened by uh, two brothers in 1997. It was November 2nd. Pretty close to this area. They were chopping firewood in a designated area. You know, they'd been using the chainsaw all day, whatnot. And about between four and five in the afternoon, one of them noticed a dark shape up on the mountain heading down towards the river. So uh, his brother grabbed the binoculars to check it out. Uh, they thought it was an elk at first. They're elk hunters and they like to keep track of where the herds and the elks, the elk are. They're spotting with the binoculars and the dude's like, oh my, what? And he's like, this thing's walking on two legs. And he's like, oh my hell, you got to be kidding me, you know. So he takes the binoculars from his brother, and just as he gets the binoculars on the creature, it disappears into the trees. So he's sitting there watching, watching, and it finally comes out of the trees, uh, at the bottom of the grove of the trees, coming down to the river again. He estimates it was anywhere from 8 to 10 feet tall. It was very dark in color. It walked on two legs. Uh, he observed it for about another hundred yards before it disappeared into the trees again. It was getting late. It was the winter time. You know, it was about an hour before it gets dark. So uh, they, they finished loading up the chainsaws and the wood and everything, got in the vehicle. Uh, just as they were getting ready to leave a couple hundred yards away in the trees, they heard a loud screaming squilling noise. Neither of them have ever heard this type of a scream before. Like I said, they were avid elk hunters and stuff, and they says it wasn't even close to an elk bugle. Guess that it was probably the creature that they seen walk down into those trees. So that's a Bigfoot sighting from uh, North Fort Shoshone River area. Um, I'm going to pick up the camera and kind of show you the cliff tops and stuff around here. This is a pretty beautiful place. There's the river. There's some cliffs, and there's somebody's cabin right across the river over there. I mean, this is a remote place, but people live and have their vacation homes all up and down this river. I mean, if the amount of sightings reports that come out of here, I'm sure that people live here see, see this creature. Not everybody that sees it wants to report it. So I'm sure there's a lot more sightings. I just love to see places that people see Bigfoot. You know, my philosophy is, is if I spend enough time in these Bigfoot sighting locations, hopefully the odds will catch up and I'll get one of those Class A sightings. Have a great evening.